Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of condolences to the President of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Alawi, over the victims of the terrorist bombing that took place inside a mosque in the city of Peshawar, northwestern Pakistan. His Majesty expressed his sincere condolences to the President, the families of the victims, and the Pakistani people, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the souls of the victims in peace and wished a speedy recovery to the injured. His Majesty the King affirmed Bahrain's denunciation and strong condemnation of this terrorist act, which contradicts all human laws and values. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa issued Decree 6 of the year 2023, restructuring the Ministry of Parliament Affairs. Based on the proposal of the Parliament Affairs Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet, according to the decree, the Parliament Affairs Ministry was restructured as follows. Parliament Affairs Minister oversees, first, the Coordinator General of the Shura and Representatives Council's Affairs, with the rank of Under Secretary, who is responsible for the Directorate of the Follow Up of Monitoring and Financial Affairs the Directorate of the Follow-up of Legislative Affairs, second, the Undersecretary of the Parliament Affairs Ministry who is responsible for, the Directorate of Human and Financial Resources, the Directorate of Legal Research and Studies, Decree 38 of 2020 on restructuring the Parliament Affairs Ministry was abrogated. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 7 of the year 2023 restructuring the Foreign Affairs Ministry based on the proposal of the Foreign Affairs Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, the Foreign Affairs Ministry was restructured as follows. The Foreign Affairs Minister oversees first the Director General of Legal Affairs and Human Rights with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who is responsible for the Head of the Legal Affairs Sector, Head of the Human Rights Affairs Sector. Second, Head of the Strategic Affairs Sector. Third, Director General of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, who is responsible for Chief of Protocol, Head of the Coordination and Follow-up Sector. Fourth, Head of the Communication Sector. Fifth, Director of the Institutional Development Directorate. Sixth, the Director General of the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies, who is responsible for the Directorate of Training and Languages, the Directorate of Academic Affairs, the Directorate of Studies and Evaluation. Seventh, the Undersecretary of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs for Political Affairs, who is responsible for Head of the Asian and Pacific Affairs Sector, Head of the Arab and African Affairs Sector, Head of the GCC Affairs Sector, Head of the Al Madar Center, Head of the European Affairs Sector, Head of the Americas Affairs Sector, Head of the Organizations Sector. Eighth, the Undersecretary for Consular and Administrative Affairs, who is responsible for the Directorate of Administrative Affairs, the Directorate of the Consular Services Sector, the Directorate of Planning and Projects, the Directorate of Financial Resources, the Directorate of Human Resources, the Directorate of Information Systems, Decree 23 of the year 2021 on restructuring the Ministry of Foreign Affairs shall be rescinded. His Majesty the King issued Decree 8 of the year 2023, amending Article 3 of Decree 54 on establishing the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies based on the proposal of the Foreign Affairs Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to uh, Decree Article 3 of Decree 54 on establishing the Mohammed bin Mbarak Al Khalifa Academy for Diplomatic Studies shall read as follows. The Academy shall have a Director General appointed as per decree. His Majesty also issued Decree 9 of 2023 organizing the Sustainable Development Ministry based on the proposal of the Minister of Sustainable Development and following the approval of the Cabinet. Under the decree, the Ministry of Sustainable Development shall be organized as follows. The Minister of Sustainable Development oversees the Assistant Undersecretary for Sustainable Development, who is responsible for the Directorate of Evaluation and Studies, the Directorate of Coordination and Follow-up, the Directorate of Communication and International Relations. His Majesty the King issued Decree 10 of the year 2023, organizing the Secretariat General of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, the SCH Secretariat General shall be organized as follows. The SCH Secretary General shall be responsible for, first, the Directorate of the Health System Governance, second, the Directorate of Health Strategic Evaluation. 
His Majesty the King also issued Decree 11 of the year 2023, amending Article 4 of Decree 5 of the year 2013 on the establishment of the Supreme Council of Health, the SCH, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the Decree Article 4 of Decree 5 of the year 2013 on the establishment of the SCH shall read as follows. The SCH shall have a Secretariat General to be formed and headed by a Secretary General, who shall be appointed as per a decree based on the recommendations of the SCH President, as well as a sufficient number of employees to be appointed as per an edict by the SCH Council President based on the recommendation of the Secretary General. His Majesty King, the King also issued Decree 12 of the year 2023 restructuring the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning based on the proposal of the Ministry of Housing and Urban Planning and following the approval of the Cabinet. According to the decree, the Ministry shall be restructured as follows. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, who oversees the Under Secretary responsible for First Communication Directorate, second, Assistant Undersecretary for Resources and Information, who oversees Human Resources Directorate, Financial Resources Directorate, Information Technology Directorate, third, Assistant Undersecretary for Housing Services Affairs, who oversees Beneficiary Service Directorate, Strategy and Institutional Excellence Directorate, Housing Finance Directorate, fourth, Assistant Undersecretary for Engineering Affairs, who oversees Developer Relations Directorate, Project Implementation Follow-up Directorate. Decree 63 of 2008, reorganizing the Ministry of Housing, shall be repealed. His Majesty the King issued Decree 13 of the year 2023 on restructuring the Labour Market Regulatory Authority, the LMRA, based on the proposal of the Prime Minister following the approval of the Cabinet according to the decree, LMRA shall be restructured as follows. Chief Executive Officer, who is responsible for first, the Director of Communication, second, the Directorate of Project Management, third, the Directorate of Awareness and Partnership. Fourth, Deputy CEO for Policies and Market Information with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees. First, the Director of Policies and Research. Second, the Director of Studies and Market Information. Third, the Directorate of Wages Protection. Fifth, Deputy CEO for Resources and Information with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees the Directorate of Human Resources, the Directorate of Financial Resources, the Directorate of Information Technology. Sixth, the Deputy CEO for Services and Business with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees the Directorate of Business Owner Services, the Directorate of Worker Services, the Directorate of Business Development, the Directorate of Labor Systems Development. Seventh, Deputy CEO for Enforcement and Protection with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees the Directorate of Legal Affairs, the Directorate of Labor Inspection, the Directorate of uh, Preventive Monitoring, the Protection and Grievances Center, Decree 39 of the year 2019 on organizing the Labor Market Regulatory Authority shall be repealed. His Majesty the King issued Decree 14 of the year 2023 restructuring the National Bureau for Revenue, the MBR, based on the proposal of the Minister of Finance and National Economy and following the approval of the Cabinet. The MBR shall be organized as follows. CEO of the National Bureau of Revenue with the rank of Undersecretary is responsible for first, Human and Financial Resources Directorate, second, Risk Analysis Directorate, third, Communication Directorate, fourth, Tax Information Directorate, fifth, Planning and Performance Follow-up Directorate, sixth, Executive Vice President for Policies and External Relations with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees Tax and Policy Directorate, Foreign Tax Relations Directorate, Legal Affairs Directorate. Seventh, Executive Vice President of Tax Operations and Compliance with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary who oversees Tax Operations Directorate, Foreign Tax Relations Directorate, Tax Audit Directorate. Decree 10 of the year 2019 on regulating the MBR is repealed. His Majesty the King also issued Decree 15 of the year 2023 restructuring the Ministry of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture based on the proposal of uh, the Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture and following the approval of the Cabinet. The Ministry shall be organized as follows. The Minister of Municipalities, Affairs and Agriculture responsible for First Directorate of uh, Planning and Municipal Council's Affairs. Second, Undersecretary for Agriculture and Marine Resources Affairs who oversees 
Assistant Undersecretary for Agriculture Affairs, who oversees an Agriculture Health Directorate, B, the Local Agricultural Production Directorate, C, Vegetation Cover Development Directorate. Second, the, unders or the Assistant Undersecretary for Marine Resources, who oversees the Fish Stock Protection and Development Directorate, the Fish Farms Directorate, the Fishing Harbors Directorate, the Assistant Undersecretary for Livestock, who oversees the Local Animal Production Directorate, the Animal Health Directorate, the Assistant Undersecretary for Resources and Information, who oversees the Human Resources Directorate, the Financial Resources Directorate, the Information Systems Directorate. Fourth, the Undersecretary for Municipal Affairs, who oversees the Director General of the Capital Municipality with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, the Director General of the Municipality of the Northern Area with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, the Director General of the Municipality of the Southern Area with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, the Director General of Muharraq Municipality with the rank of Assistant Undersecretary, the Assistant Undersecretary for Joint Municipal Services, who oversees Ex-Appropriation and Expensation or Compensation Directorate, Project Directorate, Household Waste Directorate, Decree 50 of the year 2019, Reorganizing the Works and Municipalities Affairs in the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning is repealed. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, sent a cable of condolences to the President of Pakistan, Dr. Arif Al Awi, for the victims of the terrorist bombing inside a mosque in Peshawar, northwestern Pakistan. In the cable, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, expressed his heartfelt condolences to Dr. Arif Al Awi, the victims' families, and the people of Pakistan, wishing the injured a speedy recovery. His Royal Highness expressed Bahrain's condemnation of the heinous terrorist acts which violate all all religions and human values. His Royal Highness sent a similar cable to the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Mian Muhammad Shehba Sharif. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa visited the BDF's General Headquarters. Upon arrival, His Royal Highness was received by the BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa, the Minister of Defense, Lieutenant General Abdullah bin Hassan Naimi, the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Diab bin Sagra Naimi, and the eighth number of senior BDF officers. His Royal Highness emphasized the BDF's important role in advancing the Kingdom's comprehensive development led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces. His Royal Highness was briefed on the BDF's development plans and programs on combat and administrative readiness. His Royal Highness commended the BDF's efficiency and military capabilities, which reflects their dedication and role in safeguarding regional security alongside the Kingdom's allies. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the officers of the BDF who continue to safeguard the Kingdom. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa chaired the third meeting of the Board of Directors of the Olympic Committee. His Highness praised the achievements and gains made by the Olympic Committee and Sports Federations during 2022, noting the prominent role of the Olympic Committee in supporting national teams. His Highness was briefed on the latest preparations made by the General Secretariat to participate in the 2024 Paris Olympics in addition to the preparations of the teams and players. The Secretary General Faris Al Kohiji reviewed the reports of the Bahrain Olympic Committee Departments for 2022 and the work plan for 2023, as well as the most important meetings and agreements that were concluded. His Highness approved the launch of the annual Khalid bin Hamad Award for Sports Excellence, dedicated to sports institutions and athletes and the National Coach Day Initiative. His Highness praised the Champions Industry Initiative through the agreements concluded by the Olympic Committee with the Swimming, Handball and Basketball Federation.
The Representatives Council held its weekly headed meeting headed by its speaker, Ahmed Lamsellam. The speaker delivered a speech on the occasion of 55th anniversary of the founding of the BDF in which he expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister on the occasion. The council approved a draft law regarding an agreement between the government of Bahrain and the Council of Ministers of Bosnia and Herzegovina regarding air services. The council then approved a decree by law regarding dividing lands intended for restructuring and development, reconstruction and development. The Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsellam affirmed the keenness of the legislative authority to support and strengthen constructive cooperation with the executive authority to increase achievements in light of the comprehensive development march of His Majesty the King. Lamsellam expressed appreciation for the royal praise of His Majesty the King for the constructive cooperation and coordination between the executive and legislative authorities. Lamsellam added that the royal support and the patronage of all state institutions contributed to the achievements of the kingdom. He lauded the royal appreciation for the efforts of his Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and his pioneering role in leading the government in achieving development. He underscored that the government approach was always placed or has always placed the citizen as the main pillar in its uh, programs and in the constructive cooperation with the legislative authority. Sure, Council Chairman Ali al Saleh affirmed the keenness to implement the royal directives and the comprehensive visions of His Majesty the King to serving the country and enhancing national gains and achievements Bahrain is witnessing during the prosperous era of His Majesty. Al Saleh expresses thanks and appreciation for His Majesty's praise during the Cabinet session on the cooperation and coordination between the legislative and executive authorities. He affirmed the, or the consultation and dialogue between the legislative and executive authorities thanks to the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister noting His Royal Highness's pivotal role in assuming leadership of governmental work and continue to direct or continuous directives to expand cooperation with the legislative authority. He pointed out that the Council continues to harness legislative capabilities and efforts exercising its national role in modernizing the laws in force and also enacting supportive legislation for the comprehensive development process. The chairman of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, chaired the STIA's meeting. He expressed the appreciation of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa of the STIA and its role in serving Islam. The chairman stressed His Majesty's support as a key success in serving Islam and pledged to His Majesty to perform the STIA's religious and national duties and responsibilities. The council praised Bahrain's declaration in Rome that expressed the support of His Majesty the King to various religious and humanitarian issues. The Council congratulated the 55th anniversary of the BDF and the 26th anniversary of the National Guard and praised the national achievements in highlighting the country's security and stability. The Council condemned the extremist burning of the Holy Quran and stressed that the heinous act was a serious violation and offense to Muslims around the world and hinders efforts to promote peace between the East and West. The Council called on the international community to act upon such religious abuse. The Minister of Municipalities Affairs and Agriculture Engineer Wa'al Al-Mbarak stated that the electronic system Binayat has issued 1,565 building permits during 2022. Al-Mbarak highlighted that there are the directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister are to attract capital and investments and facilitate access of services to citizens and residents through facilitating procedures for issuing building permits in various regions of the kingdom. He said that the private sector became a main partner in issuing permits by assigning applications for building permits for new construction to approve engineering offices for review as the role of government agencies was limited to checking applications after the permit was issued. El Mbarak noted that Binayat accelerated the issuance of permits since its inauguration, affirming that the support of His Royal Highness contributed to the success of a system under the supervision of concerned government agencies. The Governor-General of New Zealand, Cindy Caro, received the credentials of the Ambassador of the Kingdom of Bahrain to New Zealand, Ahmed Abdullah Al-Hajri, residing in Jakarta. 
Lahadri has conveyed the greetings of His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and their wishes for progress and prosperity to New Zealand. He expressed his pride in representing the Kingdom of Bahrain to New Zealand and his keenness to strengthen the friendship and cooperation between the two countries. Caro entrusted the ambassador with conveying her greetings to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness and her wishes for continued progress and prosperity for the Kingdom of Bahrain. She wished the ambassador success in his duties in everything that would strengthen and develop the bilateral relations in various fields to serve common interests. Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the BCCI, signed memorandums of understanding with higher education institutions to enhance prospects for joint work in the field of study, research and training university students in the presence of the Secretary General of the Council of Higher Education and Deputy Chairperson of the Council's Board of Trustees, Sheikh Dr. Rana bint Daij Al Khalifa, and the President of the BCCI, Samir Nas, where 13 agreements were signed with a number of universities in Bahrain. The memorandums include the exchange of experiences and the utilization of resources, the exchange of information, statistics, experiences, studies and research conducted on topics of common interest and the participation in conferences, seminars, workshops and events as well as the organization of joint events. The Inspection Directorate of the Ministry of Industry and Commerce has destroyed expired foodstuffs in coordination with the competent authorities. The Assistant Undersecretary for Control and Resources, Abdelaziz Al Ashraf, has said that a complaint had been received by a citizen stating that a company was selling foodstuffs after altering their expiration dates. After investigating the content of the complaint, the violation was monitored and the seizures of damages and uh, adulterated food products were monitored and the stores related to the store were track tra tra tracked and 3704 boxes of expired dates and date molasses were seized in five different locations al ashraf added that the case was referred to the public prosecution and judicial ruling were issued against uh, the violator to confiscate and destroy these seized materials The opening bell ceremony organized by Abu Dhabi Securities Exchange ADX in its main headquarters to officially announce the joining of Muscat Stock Exchange MSX to Tabadul Platform in the presence of the CEO of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa and the CEO of MSX Haytham Al Salmi. Bahrain Bourse and ADX announced the joining of MSX to the Tabadul Platform based on the concept of providing direct access to the markets through a trading network between the regional stock exchange in a quantum leap that enhances liquidity and facilitates trading mechanisms for investors. The securities listed in the Omani market became available for digital exchange through the platform along with the securities in the Abu Dhabi and Bahrain markets. <laughs> 